back to the channel. We are back at Hajimiya, but this time we are in Bintaro for some more Yemeni food. So let's get inside and check it out. So I'm here at the uh, restaurant at the Hadramian in Midaro. Uh, here, waiting in the waiting room right now. Uh, here, we'll see how it goes out. What's the name super called again? Oh, they just opened. They've been open less than a year. Uh, we got here. We have our our fried kambing and a grilled kambing with mandi and biryani rice on two plates. We have our lamb broth soup over here. We have some sambals here, some onions, limes, and let's see what else we get later on. All right. So one of the good things about that I have discovered about Yemeni food is that there's more spice, there's more kick to it than traditional Middle Eastern or other places. Like I've tried Saudi food, Iraqi food, uh, Lebanese food. The Yemeni food, to me personally, has been my favorite because of the fact of the variety of spices they put in their food. It seems they have a lot more love and care to how much flavor is in the food itself. So this is a great restaurant to come to as you can see, it has the home, the uh, room here. They have several rooms like this, like one, two, three, four private rooms. It could be more, I, I lost count. And then they have tables in the front you can get. Uh, they bring you things uh, when you need it. Uh, they have a soda machine. You can get all kinds of drinks from this here. So what makes this food different is that they have spices to it. Even, even in the dishes, you can see the spices in here. You know, we have some peppers, some carrots. Here's some more of onions. As you can see, the caramelization here along the lamb. Just everything is just so looking really, really good. It just, look how tender that is. Soft, tender, just comes off like this so easy. This is what makes it so great. It falls apart right here. Look at that falling apart right there. That's what makes it so awesome. Some uh, lamb here. You see it just falls off. Look how tender that is. Mix it with some rice. Right here. Oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so tender, juicy. I'm going to put an onion over there. This is so good. Yummy food. I've had a bad experience. This is some of the most delicious food I've ever had. Not just Middle Eastern food, just food in general. And just how much, how tender the, the lamb is on here. We were invited here to Hydramia here in um, Bintaro. And what is different about this place compared to the other Yemeni restaurant I went to, the, ten, the, the spices they use in this, there seems more like a home cooking type feel to it. You know, there's a more warmth, there's a more satisfying, you know, your, your comfort. You feel comfortable at home eating this. And that's one of the great things about it. You know, sitting here and just digging, digging into it. so good mm, there's lots of 
love go into these dishes. Lots of love go into these dishes here. I can tell they want the customer to feel home, to feel like they're eating from home. Like their mother or their grandmother made this meal for them for special occasions. And it seems like it'll be a special occasion anytime you come here to eat. Digging into the meat here. Just look at that. Falling apart in my hands. This. Look how good that is. One point. Oh, I love this food. So I'm gonna put some of the ten ball on the side over here. Try it out. So it tastes. Get some meat with it. So just have put some rice. Bring it up. Oh, that's good. It tastes like a uh, a fishy type of sambal right there. That's really delicious. Let me try a little bit of the green one here. Oh, that green one. It's not spicy, but it does add a lot of kicks. Not a lot of kick, but it does add flavor to it. Get some more of this meat here. Get into it. Sambal here. Oh, like a citrusy, limey flavor that one has that green the green sound ball there that one really does have some heat to it that one has some heat to it right there if you want some heat to your uh, food your Yemen food here choose the green one both are phenomenal I can't complain I can't complain about either both are delicious <clears throat> So this is the game month. Um, if you recall from another video earlier, this is a delicacy that's uh, famous all over the Arab world. Ed and the Turks have it as well, but they call it by another name. And this is really good for Ramadan to break your fast with. But creamy, donuty, cinnamon. I mean, maybe it's the cinnamon, the brown sugar, the fried donut taste to it. Oh, so good. That is so delicious. Mmm. A plus, 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 plus. So this has been a wonderful experience. If you live in the Tangerang area, you will not find an Arabic restaurant like this everywhere, anywhere at all, so come visit this place. Uh, their information will be in the description box, along with the social media, phone numbers. We will list the prices of the dishes that we had today. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching. Peace out. So I want to show you guys my favorite drink here. I love this tea. Right here. The big one. And the small one. Next is the courtyard here. Back of this. Let's go around. 